I'm Carla from Bluebells Cakery. Today I'm going to be showing you my recipe for hummingbird cupcakes. This is a delicious recipe, a variation on your classic banana cupcake. The tropical pineapple gives the cupcake a really nice, light, fluffy texture. So let's get into it. So we're going to start by mashing our bananas. Now you want to make sure that you're using really ripe bananas here. They're going to give your cupcake a really nice sweetness. So now those are mashed, we're going to crack into our mixing bowl three eggs. So this recipe is really great, super easy. It's one of those throw it together kind of recipes. Now we're gonna add our caster sugar. We're gonna put that on the mixer for about five minutes. You wanna whisk it on really high speed to get it really nice and fluffy and creamy. We're gonna start pouring in our oil. And just give that a final whisk on high speed. So this is looking really nice and creamy. So now that's ready for our dry ingredients. So we've got our flour, we've got baking soda, some lovely cinnamon here, which is gonna give the cupcakes a really nice spice flavor. And we've also got some salt. Sieving is really important when you're baking. You wanna make sure you're getting rid of all those lumps. So now that's all in there, we're gonna turn that on for a few more minutes. So we'll just mix that on a slow speed. Take a nice glass bowl here. I'm gonna add our mashed bananas, a lovely crushed pineapple. And once that mixture is all incorporated, we're gonna empty that into the bowl and fold through those ingredients. So now I'm just using a spatula to get around the sides of the bowl. And we're just gonna pour that into the bowl with the banana and the pineapple. So we've also just got a little bit of vanilla and we're just gonna gently fold all those ingredients through. Okay, so that's looking ready. We're ready to spoon it into our cases. We want to fill these cases till they're about two thirds full. Making sure you're getting all those delicious chunks of banana and pineapple. Okay, so once we've filled our cases, we can put that in the oven. We're gonna leave those in the oven for about 25 to 30 minutes. So now we're gonna move on to the cream cheese icing. We're gonna start by sifting the icing sugar into our bowl to get rid of any lumps. Okay, so now we're gonna add our unsalted butter. Really important that your butter is at room temperature, otherwise it's not gonna mix into that icing sugar. And now we're gonna add our cream cheese, some vanilla extract, and we're gonna put that onto the mixer. Now you wanna make sure you start off on a really slow speed. Okay, so that's slowly mixing through. And now we're just gonna turn up that speed. So that's looking really good, nice and creamy. Make sure you get all of that yummy goodness off the whisk. And with a spatula, just make sure you scrape down the sides of the bowl to ensure everything's really lovely and incorporated. And that's ready to use. Our cupcakes are nice and cool and ready to ice and decorate. So we're using a palette knife to spread this beautiful cream cheese icing. And we're gonna put a big dollop on the top of the cupcake, spreading it out to the edges and just creating a really lovely little swirl in the middle of the cupcake, like so. And then we're gonna decorate with this beautiful walnut praline. So we'll continue that. So this walnut praline, which I made earlier, is really lovely with these hummingbird cupcakes. It's nice to give that added crunch and give the cupcakes a really lovely texture. So there you have it, my really delicious hummingbird cupcakes. Make sure you give them a go at home. For more info on this recipe, go to foodtv.co.nz.